Imagine you're a hoglin eating nether warts, when all of a sudden, you turn into the biggest, strongest hoglin anyone's ever seen. This is Hardcore Minecraft, and I'm going to be surviving the next 100 days as a hoglin in the nether. On day one, I spawned in the nether as a hoglin, surrounded by other hoglins in this crimson forest. It was there that I met my dad. Hello, son. Dad? Yes, I suppose I am your dad. I have an awesome knockback ability, and I had so much health, so I was basically indestructible. Ah. Yeah, we love doing that. We love <laughs> That's awesome. My dad wanted to show me something. It was roasted nether wart, and I knew it didn't look yummy, but as a hoglin, this is what we eat. Roasted nether wart. They're like berries, like fruit. Oh man, that tastes great. I heard strange pig sounds coming from outside the forest, so I checked it out, and it was a bunch of adorable baby piglins. Hi, okay, hello. Everything was sweet until the adult piglins came, so I chased them away. I don't like you. Yeah. <laughs> I, I'm sorry, I guess I'm killing your parents. On day two, I met my mom. Who's this? Oh, <laughs> this is your mother. Oh, hi, hi mom. Hi, Oh, it's nice to meet you, son. We have presents for you. Presents? They gave me a netherite sword and pickaxe. So I went off and looked for cool things to mine, like ore and crimson wart block. All of a sudden, we were attacked by angry piglins. Oh no, piglin raid. We'll hold them back. Save yourself. Oh no! 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 Run before it's too late! Ugh. No! Mom! Dad! They killed all my family, and I had no choice but to run away. Finally, I found a safe place to rest for the night, and to plot my revenge on those piglins. For day three, I found a bastion remnant, with piglins guarding it. So I fight them, and start my revenge. I found a cage with baby hoglins being trapped in there. Wait, I know that sound. That sounds like, that's, that's my friends. Guys, I'm here to save you. It seemed that the piglins are killing hoglins for their meat. Cooked pork chop. They're trying to eat you guys. Is that why they killed all the adults? It's just us. Suddenly, a piglin brute showed up. Don't worry, we'll, we'll get out of huh? here. What huh? are you doing here? I thought we killed all the adults. I can't believe this. Why would you do that? Who do you work for? That's none of your concern. Just know that there is a bigger pig out there. After he told me his boss's plan, I headbutted him off the cliff, killing him. Ah! I decided this was a great place to call my new home and that I'm going to make this my new base of operations. On day four, I had a dream where I was visited by a beast hoglin. Whoa, what are you? I am a beast hoglin. The beast hoglin? Why are you so big? Because a witch told me that a hoglin will one day kill me. So I am killing all the hoglins to make sure that never happens. So you're behind all the hoglin killings. You're in charge of the piglins. That's right. Well, where are we? <laughs> I was so surprised by what the beast said that I woke up on day five fearing for my life. What power was he using to appear in my dreams? And was he going to hunt me down? I decided to go to work and spruce up my base, replacing the broken bricks with new ones. I also made traps, so if more piglins come, they would be met with a surprise. I then traveled to a soul sand valley and fought some disturbed. Die. Ah, oh, ow, ow, that hurt. Okay, <laughs> oh, ah, oh, ah, die, die. Oh no, one heart. Okay, let's go, let's get out of here. After killing them all, I dug up some soul sand. While traveling, I ran into some scary, rotten, burning piglins. I tried fighting them off, but I wasn't strong enough, so I just ran away. On days six to seven, I found a lost hoglin trapped on an island. It's a friend. Okay, uh, he's trapped. He's trapped with all this lava. Okay, I, I gotta, I gotta help him. I made fungus on a stick and rode a strider across the lava to rescue the other hoglin. Don't worry, I'm coming. Hey, friend. I decided it should come with me, and I also gave him a nickname. I'm gonna protect you forever. Let's go. I'm gonna name you Pumba. As we were heading back to the base, a gas attacked us, and it had awful intentions. Oh, oh my goodness, what, what's that? Oh, it's mad. I will kill you for the beast, Colin. We fought it off, but the ghast wasn't going down without a fight. Take that! Ow, ow, that hurt. Pumba took the final blow on the ghast, and now we were free to continue our journey. The adventures of Bronzo and Pumba. For days eight through 10, I woke up to a basalt giant attacking my base. I fought it off, but it was so powerful. 
After defeating it, I realized that the base needs an upgrade. I started by making two bedrooms for Pumbaa and I. I made them on top of the base, with a huge set of stairs leading up to them. I decorated them and put down a bed, but I forgot I can't sleep in the nether, and the bed blew up the moment I clicked on it. Oh. I continued decorating with some vines and some bookshelves. I made a nice garden as well, and a weapons room, and a kitchen to cook all the nether wart I planted. On days 11 through 12, the unimaginable happened. As I was traveling for material, I ran into the beast hoglin. That's not good. Uh, no, 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 stay away. I heard hoglin that escaped your attack. Oh, that, that definitely wasn't me. I tried to fight him, but I was too weak, and I had to run away with the help of a strider. Okay, uh, bye. Oh, okay, bye. Free, we will only give you a small amount of time. The strider told me about a world outside of the nether, and that there was a witch there that could help me grow powerful. I found a portal to the overworld, and a strange man that was also traveling. Um, hi, are you, uh, nice? Whoa. A pig. I'm a hoglin, not a pig. Oh, sorry, hoglin. Yeah, my bad. Yeah, I was just going through this portal back to the overworld. You're going, oh, that's the portal. Oh, we can go together. I was going to go through it too. You want to go through the portal? Yeah, let's do it. Uh, okay, man, by all means. Whoa. As I went through the portal, I went through a transformation. Wait a minute, why do I only have five hearts? You look weird, man. Uh, you don't look so good. What do you mean? Whoa, where'd my leg go? I'm a zombie. Are you, like, rotting or something? Maybe. I don't know. Well, uh, good luck to you. Uh, I think I'm just gonna get going. You're not going to help me? No. Nice meeting you, though. Bye. Ah! Oh! Oh, that hurt my butt. Jeez. Now I was all alone in this strange world and had never felt so weak. On days 13 to 16, I traveled this new world and found some new materials. I then ran into some zombies. I thought they might attack me, but I guess they don't attack their own kind. Oh, I'm a zombie too. One of the zombies told me of a village that they were going to raid, so I decided to join them. Hey, yeah, let's do it. Let's do it together. Let's go. I killed off many of the villagers, but one of the children made me feel bad for what I was doing. You look really scared. I'm sorry. I. Uh... Uh, you're super scary. Uh, uh, stay away from me. Uh, you killed my parents. Hopefully the kid doesn't make a hundred days video about taking revenge on us killing his parents. I then found the witch the Strider told me about, and she gave me some very alarming news. Very strange seeing you around here. I'm surprised you made it this far. This far? Yes, hoglins don't survive very long in the overworld. The longer you're here, the weaker you become. I had lost all my hearts except for one, and I transformed into a skeleton. I was now extremely vulnerable. If you want to become stronger, you must find the dungeon filled with powerful beasts. I decided to save the dungeon for another day and wanted to go back home. But outside the portal was a bunch of creepers. I can run. I can just run. Oh, no, no, no. Oh, my gosh. Oh, my gosh. Ah, oh, I'm at one heart. Ah, okay, get away. Oh, oh come on. Ah, let's go. Come on. I'm back. I'm back. I barely made it out of there alive. And I'm back to my normal self. On days 17 to 20, I found some more hoglins being attacked by piglins. So I fought back to protect my hoglin brothers and sisters. Go away. After I killed the last one, some rotten piglins appeared. Ah, I'm withering away. What do you mean you're withering away? Die. Once we were all safe, I wanted to take my new friends to my base. So I took them back by lead and they loved their new home with me. For days 21 to 22, I went and gathered more materials. I also made some diamond armor from diamonds I had found in chests all around the nether. I put my old armor in the weapons room to add to my collection. While mining, I found this huge fortress and I battled blazes and these strange mushroom creatures. On days 23 to 26, I went back to the overworld to look for new materials. But once I got there, I was attacked by a bunch of phantoms since I had never actually slept as a hoglin. Die, take this, yes. After fighting them, I went and mined a little bit more but I found a village with a zombie villager. I asked him if he knew of any caves with dungeons in them. Uh, yeah, there's one down there, actually. Down that way? Yeah. The zombie villager seemed nice for telling me where the cave was, but really, he was just luring me into a trap, and the cave he sent me to had a warden inside of it. Where? Oh my god, okay, what was that? What was that? I hurt someone! Um, no you didn't. This warden could one-hit KO anything. I didn't stand a chance. Leave now! 
So I ran out of that cave and then ran all the way home. And I told Pumbaa all about my travels. On days 27 to 31, I went back to the overworld to find the dungeon the witch told me about. And I finally found it. But a curious hoglin followed me there. I sounded like a hoglin. Whoa, 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 Pumbaa? Pumbaa, what are you, did you follow me? What? Ah, okay, I, I guess while you're here, then, you know, let's do this. Pumbaa and I started battling all the mobs in the dungeon, one level at a time. The mobs got harder and harder as we went down, but the loot also got better. Ooh, potion of regeneration, golden carrots, and a golden sword. Ooh, more carrots. <gasps> Ooh, a diamond. Finally, we made it to the bottom, where the dungeon had nether-like qualities. And down there was the nether keeper. The nether keeper was in cahoots with the beast hoglin. You will be a great sacrifice. Pumbaa and I battled this creature, but it was monstrous, and unlike any mob I had fought before. After a long battle, we finally defeated it! Ah! And our rewards were great! More diamonds and nether ingots! The witch was right. This dungeon was a great way to train. On days 32 to 36, I spent most of my time fixing up the base. I made a bridge for a project for later. I made a farm for the crops I had gathered from the overworld. Surprisingly, they could still grow here, as long as I put light nearby. I also made an area for sheep so I can gather wool. I brought some sheep from the overworld, breeded them, and sheared them to get ready for my next big project, a giant hoglin statue, which I got started on right away, but I still didn't have enough resources. For days 37 to 40, I was mining, when all of a sudden, a rotten great warrior came up to me. Who are you? I was once a piglin, but I became corrupted with power given to me by the beast hoglin. You work with him? Then I have to kill you. No, it is you who must die. It sent out its minions that would set me on fire, but I was able to kill them quickly. I fought the rotten warrior, and before it died, it told me, Even if I die, I still distracted and weakened you for my master. <laughs> yes! Yes! Next, I go back to my base, where a ghast is destroying everything I worked on and killing hoglins. What are you doing? Why are you here? You killed my best friend. I want revenge. Well, she deserved it. Speak no more. Take this. Take that. Take this. Take that. I managed to kill it, but not before the gas did some serious damage. I fixed up the wreckage and started to plot my attack on the beast hoglin because now it was personal. On days 41 through 44, it was time to start building an army. I sent Pumbaa to look for recruits for the new army and I went a separate way so we can find all kinds of different creatures in the nether that are fed up with the beast hoglin's reign. Bye Pumbaa, I, I, I love you. The first creature I found was a mutant nether skeleton who I had to convince to join my cause. I know you. I'm supposed to kill you for the beast Hoglin. You can't just be killing Hoglins for him. You have a mind of your own. How about you join me instead for the revolution? Hmm. What will you provide for me? Can I trust you? I would like to be free. I will give you a safe place to live in exchange for helping me fight the beast Hoglin. Just as I was about to sway him, another one showed up. What are you talking about? You are a traitor! Brother, no. I don't want to kill you. Listen to what the little hoglin has to say. Never! I follow the beast hoglin! Then you will follow him to death. I was successfully able to persuade him to join me, and I took him back to my base. On days 45 to 48, Pumbaa wasn't doing well. He had hurt himself while traveling in the nether and recruiting new creatures for the army. So you tried to recruit all the blazes and they burnt you? They burnt your leg? I'm so sorry, Pumbaa. I felt bad since I was the one who sent him out there in the first place. So I let him rest for as long as he needed and told him that soon, after he is stronger, we will go fight the beast hoglin with our new army. I then dug up a portion of the base to make a barrack for the mob army to hang out in, complete with makeshift beds, dining areas, areas and chests for their loot. For days 49 through 53, I went searching for others to join the army and I found a blaze. The blaze was not easily persuaded, so I had to fight her. She put up a good fight, but I weakened her enough for her to realize how powerful I was. Look, we are both great fighters and we could join forces to stop the evil overlord. I like your spirit and I will join you. Great. Do you know anyone else who can join us? I know of an army that can join yours. 
They'll be hard to sway. She suggests that we look for wither skeletons, because they are some of the best warriors in the nether, and not even the beast hoglin dares to mess with them. I have her take me to the wither skeletons, because they might be the key to our victory. On our way, we look through an area that looks very familiar, and has the same environment from when I first met the Beast Hoglin in my dreams. Well, well, well. Look who it is. <laughs> I hear you are creating an army of your own. How foolish. Yeah, it's me. The one that's going to defeat you. And my army will be greater than yours. It's very naive of you to think that is true. No one can defeat me. I am the ruler of the nether. Not for long. Soon, you will perish by my hand. <laughs> you are a funny little pig, but you must die. Minions, attack! It had some of their minions attack us. And sadly, the Blaze had not fully healed up from our battle earlier. My Blaze friend died, but I had to keep fighting. How dare you? How dare you kill my new friend? You dumb little cube things! Die! This is only a taste of my power here. You don't stand a chance. Give up before it's too late. After all that, the Beast Hoglin was now just laughing at me. <laughs> I should just kill you now, but I am having fun toying with you. This is fun to you? That's pretty creepy. No other Hoglin has put up this much resistance. It's refreshing. Well, maybe I'm the Hoglin that's going to kill you, just like in the prophecy. We will see. <laughs> I'll see you again soon on the battlefield. The beast left, and I had no idea where to go. But I knew I needed more recruits for the army, and that with my charisma and leadership skills, that I just might stand a chance against this beast. I head off in search for the wither skeletons. On days 54 to 58, I started traveling through the nether, and I ran into the witch. Oh my gosh, are you here to join me? No, but I do have a present for you. Oh really? Here you go. Whoa! The potion turned me into another beast hoglin with so many hearts and some awesome powers. Thick skin made me fireproof and lava proof. I can now see any enemy around me with hoglin oversight. And hoglin smash is an awesome new attack that shakes the ground under my targets. Thank you and bye. I go off to continue looking for the wither skeletons, but run into some very odd creatures. Hey, have you seen any wither skeletons? Uh, back up, bud. I'll sting you. Stay away. Oh, wait, you're poisonous. I'll stay away from you. Finally, I found the wither skeletons, but they don't speak English. Hello? Can you help me? Uh... Here, let me translate. Beetle Fuffy, G Fay, Beast Hoglin. Beast Hoglin? Frogomala Qua! They say it sounds stupid. However, they will do anything for some coal. Yes, I can get them that. Their usual price is 500 coal. Together, we will defeat the Beast Hoglin! The Wither Skeletons agreed to join my army, but I have to find coal. I go back home to let Pumbaa know. For days 59 through 62, I realize that there's no coal in the nether, just charcoal that I make. So I have to go to the overworld to get it. Once Pumbaa and I get to the portal, I find that I can't fit, since now I'm this beast. Oh, <laughs> this isn't good. Luckily, the witch shows up and tells me how I can go through. Just think about it really hard. Okay. <clears throat> Oh, oh my, I'm normal again. Thank you. You're welcome. Now bye, I have witch things to do. Now that I was normal sized, Pumbaa and I started mining for coal in the overworld, but we had to be careful since we were Zoglins. As we were mining, a bunch of gravel fell on Pumbaa, hurting him really badly. <coughs> Let me help you. Okay, I'm trying to get it off you. Just jump. <coughs> Why are you mad at me? <coughs> That's not true. I'm doing this for you, for the entire nether. All of a sudden, we turned into skeletons, which scared Pumba. Hey, 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 it's okay. We, we've just been here for too long. We just need a little bit more coal, and then we can go back. No, stay. I know Pumba is my friend, but I have to keep preparing to fight the beast Hoglin. Otherwise, we will never be able to live in peace, so I keep mining for coal. I'm doing this for Pumba. Ow, ow, ugh. Days 63 to 68, I journeyed through the nether, searching for anyone to join my army and inviting them to live on my base. Eventually, my base was filled with all kinds of creatures. 
On days 69 to 74, I learned that taking care of an army is tough. And even though I have food, I still need to cook it for everyone. Okay, you need it cooked? I'll get right on it. Uh, hey, hey, Pumba. Pumba stepped in and offered to be the base's designated chef. We started cooking together. We cooked nether wart, vegetables, and even some sheep meat. And Pumba even shared some of his food with me. It felt so good for him to not be mad at me anymore. Then, one of our soldiers saw something in the distance. It was the Beast Hoglin's army. What? Now? Okay, get ready to fight. On days 75 through 77, we fought the Beast Hoglin's army. <sighs> yeah, take that! I fought off mostly piglins, but I was searching for the Beast Hoglin. I finally found him. He was trying to take over my base. I took him on, and he was not an easy foe. We meet again. Now you must die. Fight me like a man. I'm a pig. We're both pigs. I'm a hog. Take that. Then Pumba stopped the battle, and he was not happy with me. <laughs> Pumba. Pumba then went with the beast Hoglin, and I was left without my best friend. Wait, Pumba. You made the right choice. Come, little one. But I won't lose hope. I'll get him back and free the nether of that overlord. For days 78 through 82, the mutated nether skeleton, MNS for short, tried comforting me about my best friend leaving us. Hey, Bronzer, what's wrong? Pumbaa's gone, and now I don't know what to do. That's rough, buddy. You know what I do when I'm sad. What? I destroy things. He wasn't very good at comforting people, and he just made me mad at Pumbaa. So I destroyed his room and expanded mine. I also made another barrack for the army, with more chests and more beds. I also continue working on the Hoglin statue. This thing is going to be big. On days 83 through 85, I was visited by the witch, who had some exciting news for me. There is an army of rebel piglins in the east. Find them and recruit them to your army. I went off to find these rebel piglins the witch was talking about. When I found the base, I snuck around. Since Hoglins and piglins don't get along, I didn't want to be attacked. I found the leader, who was trying to make a motivational speech. We must stop the mutant Hoglin, once and for all! I revealed myself and tried to convince them to team up with me. I want to ally with you. I have an army as well, and together we can get rid of the Beast Hoglin. And why would we want you? Because I am powerful, and with me, we could defeat him together. Once I turned into a Beast Hoglin, I scared the piglins. Calm <laughs> down, brothers! I want to hear him out! We have a common goal. Join me, and we will be victorious. I will, but you must fight me to prove your our strength. Very well. Let's go! Ah. The brute was strong, but I was stronger, and eventually he called a truce. Enough! I surrender! You are worthy to lead us! Together, we can defeat the Beast Hoglin. We agree to join forces. I bring up that I was also gathering the Wither Skeletons, but I still need more coal for them. The brute gives me the rest of the coal I needed, and now we will have three armies to fight the Beast Hoglin. Days 86 to 89, Pumba came back, but I'm still mad at him for his betrayal. But Pumba, is that you? He tells me that the Beast Hoglin is a brutal leader and that he was wrong to join him, but he wants to stay with the Beast to be a double agent for me and that he is going to convince more piglins to rebel against the Beast. I let him go back, but I worry for his life. I don't want to lose my best friend again. I go back to the Wither Skeletons, but the translator is not there. Luckily, one of them learned English. Here's the coal you asked for. Yes, this will do us wonders. So now, you will join my cause? A promise is a promise. I will rally the others. Bajaka! Now I have three armies to fight the Beast Hoglin, but I wasn't ready yet. For days 90 to 93, I finished the Hoglin statue, and it was massive! but not as big as the goat statue I made when I was a goat for a hundred days. What can I say? There's not much free open space in the nether. I also made iron golems to protect the base when I go off to battle the beast Hoglin. I made a new bedroom for Pumbaa, right above mine. The guy deserves it, and I want to surprise him when he comes back. I also go back to the overworld to practice fighting mobs and to gather gunpowder from creepers. All of a sudden, it started raining, and I hate the rain. So I traveled back home, 
But on the way, I found a house with a familiar face. Oh, it's the witch! Yes, what can I do for you? Do you have any cool new powers for me? Let's see what I have in my bag for you. Oh, yes, I have three potions for you. The potion of leaping, the potion of regeneration, and the potion of paralysis. They will aid you in your battle to come. Thank you! Yes, now get out of here. Oh, okay, I'll go. <laughs> Sorry. I'm going to save these new powers for the big fight. On days 94 through 97, Pumbaa came back. But before I could show him his new bedroom, we were surprised by one of the Beast Hoglin's minions. <laughs> Oh my gosh, it came! We fought this mutated Blaze, who was destroying the base, but it was no match for Pumbaa and I. Oh, it's right there! Kill it, Pumbaa! Do it! Yes, Pumbaa! You blew it up! Ah, oh my gosh! Ah, ah, ah! Okay, well now I gotta fix this up. I uh, can't believe that thing followed you all the way here. It was finally time for the final battle. So I sent MNS to get the Wither Skeletons and Pumbaa to gather the Rebel Piglins. On days 98 to 99, I found the Beast Hoglin's base, and it was filled with piglins and rotten piglins. I rallied up my armies, and they started battling. But I went straight for the Beast Hoglin. There you are. Your army is no match for me. You will die here. No, I'm here to fulfill the prophecy and kill you once and for all. No Hoglin can defeat me. I used the potions the witch gave me, and the paralyzation helped me a lot. But once the beast could move, the battle got heated. Ow! Oh, ow! Ooh, you're strong. Okay, ow! Ooh. You are nothing to back at me! No, this is not my end. Yes, it is! Soon, we will all be free! At the end, I became victorious and finally slayed the beast! Take that! Die! No! I wanted everyone to be free of Beast Hoglins forever. So I laid TNT and blew up the Beast's base. For day 100, I went back to my base and told everyone to subscribe to Bronzo, like the video, and comment down below what Minecraft animal you want me to do a 100 days challenge on next.